So, hello everybody, my name is Daniel. Hello everybody, my name is Fernando. Both are, we are part of IO Builders, which is a blockchain mentor studio in Madrid, Spain. So today we want to present you our eMoney token standard. It's a standard for financial payments and any operation that is using tokenized money. Some of the possible use cases that we were thinking about originally and that we have already implemented are bond issuing, supply chain, cash pooling, market liquidity, smart legal contracts. But there are many more possible use cases for the standard. So mainly the, the functionalities we were envisioning to include them to the standard were compliant holds, clearing, payout and fundings that we are going to re review probably in the next slides. So our first building block was the compliance. So with compliance what we want to do is any compliance check like anti-money laundering or KYC to do it completely on-chain. So can everything be done in one transaction? Another thing that we were thinking about was a multi-token support. So it's not just one token that is supported per contract, but it's really several. And then one possible use case for this would be every government in the world could put up their own compliance smart contract with their specific compliance rules. And every token that's regulated and forced under their jurisdiction could use this contract to check these rules and not have to implement their own implementation all the time. The second building block is our keystone, which is mainly a, a warranted uh, help, uh, yeah, warranted allowance. So you have help balance with the allow that can only be transferred on a given trigger. This trigger will be only done by a notary, and the notary is the one who's going to execute it, or either to release it, or either the PE will release it, and uh, you can configure holds with a given expiration. So the hold we use like uh, a thing that we put uh, on top above. So one thing that we put on top is the clearing. So the clearing can just be imagined as a number of transfer, but it's done in two steps and not in one. So the second step is here needed because there will be compliance checks that need to be done off chain. So depending on the off chain compliance checks, a clearing agent can do de to decide to either execute to transfer or not. And the important thing here is because it's using the hold during these compliance checks, the token are really held. So whenever the clearing agent makes his decisions, we are sure that the tokens are really there in the account of the balance holder and are really there to be transferred. And the last uh, building block is mainly enabling a decentralized uh, uh, start request uh, into the funding and uh, payout request. So mainly nowadays, funding and payout request must be done centralized. In this case, we uh, enable to do this request decentralized where we have a payment instruction. This payment instruction uh, uh, instructs the operator of the e-money token to either fund or either to pay out. And the payment details are not disclosure. Uh, inside the chain, they're uh, uh, interchanged off-chain and then the operator reads the funding request, the payout request and then uh, tries to fulfill it. So if we put all these four things together, we come to our eMoney token standard, which is um, published by us under EIP 2020. So the important thing here is also it extends the ERC20, so this means all the functions that you use in the ERC20 are also supported there. And our main goal in here is really that financial institutions have a way to embrace decentralization, plus the blockchain specifically. So standard needs user uses and adoption. So this is why we have been working with different work groups. So nowadays we are working with the token taxonomic uh, initiative, which is uh, part of the EA, mainly reshaping and, and fine-tuning our standard. In the other way, we are part of the ITU, which uh, has included our research into the last uh, research of the ITU and the different work groups and their fine-tuning and going deeper in our implementation. So the, token, the standard is already finished, it can be used by anybody, but we are, were also thinking about some other functionalities that we could add in the future. One thing would be overdrafts that we could use in those, uh, the tokens, another thing would be the escrows, which would be a more complex hold, but also implementing existing standards for standard error codes and localized error messages. 
Uh, we have built this standard uh, between three parties, uh, Adara, which is a company also based in, in Spain, uh, focused on liquidity markets, iBuilders, which we are based on, and iOcash, which is a product and the first venture was iBuilder, which is a P2P payment platform based on the tokenized uh, euros with the e-money license. And well, you can check uh, check out more at emoneystandard.org. And we are more and we are more than happy to to uh, bring more people on board and to work together on this standard. Thank you very much.